Good evening, guys. MC Picasso Lee here for another two-minute videos, part of the two-minute series. If you don't know what the two-minute series is, check the video link below, and you'll find out all about it. The topic of today is riffs on the road. And actually, just as I said that, there was a metal piece of shrapnel sitting in the middle of the road there. So it's really interesting for those of you that watch, um, you know, like motorcycles in general, and you're typically a car driver. Maybe you're thinking about coming into bike town. Maybe you've been away for a few years, right? We kind of forget about some of the inherent risks that are party to us riding a bike, right? So one of those things are that when you're in a car and you're driving along, like this person in front of me, they don't really have to worry about gravel on the road. They don't really have to worry about oil on the road. They don't really have to worry too much. Maybe slow down if there's uh, a lot of water on the road, you know, um, they don't have to worry about so many things compared to what a motorcyclist does. And then jump round the other way. What do I have to worry about? Well, I have to worry about stupid things, litter on the road, animals running out, dead animals on the road, oil on the road, water on the road, land slips, gravel on the road, sand on the road, debris on the road, trees on the road, leaves on the road, all sorts of things I have to think about, right? That you would not have to inherently think about if you're in a car. And then of course I have to think about, well, I need to understand the road, I need to understand, I have to be able to look ahead, I can't really daydream like I can in a car, I have to be quite active about what's on, like for example, I come out to a bend here, what if there's something stopped around the bend? What if it's been raining hard and there's lots of gravel on the road and I come round here, all of a sudden, this piece of the road, there's gravel on the side there, this piece of the road is covered in gravel. What do I do? Do I clamp on the brakes? Do I just go through? Maybe I panic, right? And of course, understanding what you do in the event of something happening is a huge piece of the puzzle to maintaining safety on the road, okay? Um, then we go into other things like manhole covers, just went one over one now, right? We all know what they're like in the wet. Um, and then of course there's the cat's eyes on the road, those little things. Well, one, if you're going into a bend and there's cat's eyes on the road and you go a little bit wide and you catch that with your rear tire, that camber will throw you down. That's another thing, camber on a road, right? You go around the bend and if it's uh, heavily worn through lorries and stuff going through that, it tends to subside, it creates a camber. And that camber is what you, if you hit that camber specifically, that throws your bike down or throws your bike up and it can throw you off the corner because you weren't ready for it or you were caught off guard, you were given a fright and you didn't react and respond properly or it just gave you a fright. So, the long and short of it, if you're looking to get back into riding, spend the time thinking about the objects, the things that are on the road that might take you out because Unlike car drivers, the only protection we have is a helmet and whatever armor, body armor we're wearing at the time. So guys, let me know what experiences you've had about crazy stuff on the road outside the normal. I'll quickly tell you something that I've come across before, and that was, going back 10 years ago, I just bought my ZX-10R, brand new, okay? And I'd done about 100 miles on it at the time, and I would just because I'd just done that, then look at the gravel on the road there, i um, just done 100 miles on it, and I decided that I could now open it up, right? I was um, coming up a slip road, which took me on to the motorway at the time, this was in Wales. I opened it right up, and lo and behold, this massive um, beer barrel came falling off a truck. Thankfully, it was empty, and bounced in front of me. So, we never know where the danger is, and even what we think we know, it's probably not enough. We just have to be ready for whatever eventuality might be bestowed on us. So let me know your thoughts. Let me hear your stories. For now, MC Procrastinate all right. Like this. Yeah, there we go.